Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Thursday, June 1st, 2017. This is my 100th video on YouTube. Hooray! And I would like to report a little more about the iron battery. I've got some results for the charge discharge of the second cell with the carbon cathode. So in that case, I'm using a carbon felt instead of a copper current collector. The voltages are very similar. That suggests that the copper wasn't participating a lot in the reaction. That's good. Upon reflection, it occurs to me that iron 3 is potentially capable of etching the surface of the copper and eventually wearing it away. And certainly, under higher charging voltages, the copper did definitely erode. I could see copper uh, color solution after I charged the copper battery. Uh, copper cathode battery too long at too high voltage. So also <laughs> that produced some hydrogen gas on the iron side. So you have to be a little careful charging this kind of battery. Keep the voltage low and the current low. Internal resistance is definitely still a problem. So there's work to be done, but it's nice to see that yes, it still performs similarly with a carbon, no copper. Copper wasn't a big part of the battery chemistry. Uh, the Charging voltage and current needs to be maintained at a low level, but it's still definitely capable of accepting and then giving back a current. So we definitely have a battery. It definitely has a measurable capacity and it does not require copper. I'm, I'm still waffling on using a copper collector on the next step, which is the stacked series of iron batteries. If I use copper there, I run the risk of that chemical erosion or electrochemical erosion, which both contaminates the battery and eventually destroys itself, and, and then we don't have a collector anymore. So the less copper, the better. But it's not easy or cheap to find a really good graphite source commercially. I think industrially it's very cheap, but to just get a... You can buy copper foil online for, for very little, but you can't necessarily get good quality graphite sheet on Amazon the same way. So waffling on that, but we'll get back to you. Today I will set up a potassium hydrogen phthalate crystallization reaction. I'm going to try a couple of different dyes in that. So hopefully I'll have some crystals to show you tomorrow. I think it's a fun little project and if I can swing it, will have an instructional video on how to grow your own dyed crystals, which yeah, they're pretty. Do tune in tomorrow where we'll talk about iron, iron chemistry, iron batteries, crystal growth, and dyes here in the Allen Lab.